Hi there, good morning everyone. This is JRV. Uh, actually, <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, this is J. Richard Varvel <clears throat> with the JRV Morning Show uh, coming to you live today from Bakersfield, California. I'm outside. Uh, we, we, I say, meaning Watson and I, he's right over here. We are a little bit late this morning. Um, and so I wanted to make sure he had some time to come outside and relieve himself and get some sun energy before we start the show inside. So we'll let him take care of business while uh, <clears throat> we uh, get started here. So good morning, everybody. Good morning, Adriana. Good morning, Aaron. Welcome this uh, beautiful Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you, too. Um, we can all be each other's Valentines today. <laughs> I don't have any of my own personal, so. Oh, Watson just took, he just ran for it, so I guess he's done. So let's go inside so I can sit down and, <coughs> woo, uh, <laughs> so I can sit down and uh, pay attention to what's going on here. <coughs> Come on, Watts. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go inside. Come on. Oh, he's, not, he's fast today. <laughs> Come on, we gotta get the show started. Come on. We gotta get the show started. Come here. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. So, someone just ran under the bed. So um, I know he'll come out in a second. <clears throat> he gets a little testy um, when people leave. And my mom, she just left for a doctor's appointment. And uh, so he's a little sad and frantic because he's like where did she go and why didn't i go with her <laughs> all right so okay we're here we're inside good morning good morning i'm so grateful that uh <laughs> you guys have joined me this morning i know watson come on everybody wants to see you everybody wants to see you all right well while i'm waiting on watson i'm gonna go ahead and put on uh, an oil blend to get me started this morning well, I am logging on my computer and getting uh, my Facebook page shared. This morning I decided to start with Rising Isis. This blend is all about uncovering and revealing your energy. So this one is really about <clears throat> digging in deep past the distractions, past... Oh, here you are. Come here. Oh, good boy. Oh, I knew you'd come. I knew you'd make it. Welcome to wa welcome Watson, everybody. Welcome Watson. I know there's no ball in here. There's no ball in here. You're gonna have to go with this for now. I know we didn't have enough time to prepare this morning. Uh, okay, so uh, <laughs> uncover and reveal. That's right. So it's getting beyond the distractions, peeling back the layers of the onion, so to speak, and really allowing ourselves to get in touch with our divine self, our God self within. It's our spark that we all come with, <clears throat> and really. Uh, as we're cutting through the layers of the onion, releasing them, really allowing ourselves to um, uh, allow our, let ourselves out, let our divine self out. So again, we want to put a couple drops. We want to warm, uh, rub until it's warmed up. So this is putting it out in our energy field, and as it's doing that, it's reading our energy field, charging it up. Um, the sunlight particles that are in the oils are now charging up our energetic field. Taking a nice deep breath. Oh. Another one. Oh, yes. So we got some citrus. Oh, there's some flower essences in there. Ooh. <laughs> and uh, now I'm hot. <clears throat> We're moving the energy and now I'm hot and I don't want to take my microphone off. Uh-oh, peeps. The energy must really be moving, because <laughs> I feel it, peeps. I feel it. Ooh. All right. Let's get this back on my thoughts. So how's everybody else doing out there? This is a wild time. There's a lot going on. Um, this is not the easiest time for a lot of people. Uh, and I do get the sense that there's a lot of um, crazy-making kind of energies going on. Uh, there is really truly a war for our minds uh the, <clears throat> the there's a group of people on this planet that want to keep us keep the collective asleep uh want to keep the collective um robotic 
uh, they want to keep the collective really stuck right where um, right, where, right, right where everybody is because if everybody's, if everybody's right where they are then they're not growing they're not uh, embodying their their conscious abilities and so uh, the mind control the uh, the weaponized food uh, the chemtrails in the air uh, not only are they, uh, the chemtrails themselves putting heavy metals in the air but by spraying it in the air they're blocking out sunlight and the sunlight is actually uh, activating our pineal gland it's assisting us in our awakening process so when they shield that sunlight they are keeping that light from activating our pineal gland so there's a lot going on <clears throat> and so we have people trying to stop us from awakening and then there's the natural progression of awakening. We are literally going through this progression where we are waking up as a collective. It's happening. And so it's this push-pull uh, energy going on. There's a lot uh, kind of pulling us apart if we haven't found balance, if we haven't merged ourselves. Um, <clears throat> so my, <clears throat> so uh, Ariana says, my divine self is a hyperactive three-year-old toddler. <laughs> I totally can identify with that. There definitely is a part of me that <clears throat> just kind of won't let it go, won't let it, like, um, like just won't leave it alone. <laughs> it's just, like, wants to just keep, like, kind of, like, bleh, running around like a, a crazy uh, three-year-old toddler when they're full of energy and they, they're, they you know, hyped up on sugar <laughs> and they're wound up and ready to go. <laughs> Uh, and Aaron says, wake up, it's time to fly free and be... Oh, it went away. <laughs> Sorry, Aaron, it went away. <laughs> but I know if you're watching peeps, you can see it in the comments. But it went off my phone before, <laughs> before I could read it. Okay, really quick, I'm going to go ahead and share my Facebook page really quick. So that way that can be done and going before we get into the 11.11 meditation. Uh, but as I was saying, it's really important because of um, the intensity of the energies right now, because of what's unfolding, because of the changes that are occurring, it's really important to ground, it's really important to do what uh, feeds our soul, as well as do what feels good for us. Like our heart is going to be, gu will guide us, will direct us to what feels best, to what is in our highest and best good, if we allow that to be if we are in alignment with it, and then follow through with whatever heart guidance we get. All right, so I want to also wish um, some peeps a very happy birthday today. Uh, so even though it's Valentine's Day, I have um, some people in my life that are having birthdays. Uh, my great-grandmother, she's turning 100 today, uh, so I send her lots of love, uh, and I wish her a very happy birthday. Uh, again, she's turning 100, so congratulations to her. It's very exciting. And then I have a cousin, uh, my cousin Brianne. It's her birthday today as well, so happy birthday and lots of love to you. And then I also have a friend, uh, Heidi, and it's her birthday today. So happy birthday to you, Heidi, out there. I love you too. So uh, lots of love and birthday uh, light uh, out there. Um, happy birthday. And happy birthday to all those other folks that are celebrating today on this Valentine's Day. Okay, let's see here. Um, it's 11.10, and it's about time to get into the meditation, Watts. It's about that time. Yeah, are you ready? Are you ready to go deep? Are you ready to go deep and ground and connect with the earth? <laughs> yes. Are you ready for it? Yeah. You just have to just rest right there. You don't have to do nothing. You don't gotta do nothing. We're gonna do the meditating part. Yeah. <laughs> He's so cute today. All right, here we go. <sighs> yes, I'm ready to, Ar Ariana. <laughs> All right, so let's close our eyes and let's begin to grow roots. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, down the wrong pipe. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me, Watts. Okay, excuse me. Let's begin to grow roots from the base of our spine and the bottoms of our feet down into the center of Mother Earth. This is connecting us to the Earth's energy. Uh, she's a sentient being. She's alive. She's awake. She's aware. 
She absolutely loves and cares for each one of us and is so excited and happy when we connect with her in this way. And I would love it if you would take this opportunity to say hello and extend your gratitude and appreciation as well. Mother Earth is a life-giving planet. We wouldn't be here having this life experience without her. Yes, thank you. And now I would like you to become aware of your gold and silver ball of light at the center of your heart space. And I would like you to begin to grow your gold and silver ball of light. Bigger, 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 bigger. We're growing it bigger, bigger, bigger past our physical body suit. And today we're going to take it out 13 feet. Again, we're taking our gold and silver ball of light out as a perfect sphere, 13 feet all around us, above us, below us, behind us, in front of us, to the sides. It's a perfect sphere <clears throat> emanating from our from a point within our uh, heart space, shining out like a star, and it's creating this beautiful sphere of light that we are in the middle of, that we are uh, emanating, actually, from the center of our being. It is our God essence, <clears throat> it is our spark of the divine that we are able to grow, and it is what animates this reality, it's what makes, it's what makes us unique and different <clears throat> and beautiful inside and out. Yes, this is what makes us especially us. <laughs> yes, I love it. Okay, <clears throat> uh, as a reminder, this is a great space and place to um, uh, go for your prayer time, as well as meditation time, as well as if you have any questions for your internal guidance, for uh, not only for your own personal life, for your loved ones, your friends, but also for the bigger questions of life as well. This is a great space and place to be in when asking and bringing those questions. Um, uh, that way you're tuning in to your God essence, your infinite awareness within uh, to tune in for those answers. Wonderful. And if you have any questions about that, we can get that uh, covered in the question and answer period after the meditation. Now we are going to <clears throat> go to Lake Isabella Lake Isabella is a lake that is just above Bakersfield. It's about a 40 minute drive uh, east and uh, it's up in the mountains. It's up in <clears throat> up through the Kern, Kern Canyon uh, mountains and it is a man-made lake and there is a dam there as well <clears throat> and it has uh, uh, it's rated as safe for now, uh, however, um, if we were to have a major earthquake, allegedly, it could not hold up. <clears throat> so, just like we did yesterday, uh, used our conscious awareness, our ability to tune in and create a reality that we want, as well as to bring our, our uh, consciousness, our love and attention to a place and space to bring our love, to bring our light to that space. We're going to do the same thing. So <clears throat> I would like you to lift off in your golden silver ball of light. And I would like to have you set your intentions heading towards Lake Isabella, California. And it is in Kern County. You don't have to know exactly where it is. Uh, you just have to set your intentions there in your golden silver ball of light. We'll get you there in a flash. Yes, we are not bound by time, space, or the physical laws of reality in this meditation space. Well, we're not really limited by them anyways, but for now, we're going to leave it that they're not limiting us in this meditation space. <laughs> All right, so we're arriving at Lake Isabella, and I would like you to have a bird's eye view flying over the lake area. Um, it's a beautiful lake. There's mountains all around, and I would like you to put your hands out, and I would like you to imagine a golden violet light coming out through your heart space, all the way out through your arms, out through your hands, <clears throat> pouring down uh, onto the lake as well as the surrounding land as well as the dam really fortifying and strengthening uh, this land allowing it to hold more and more water there's more rain on the way <clears throat> there's more snow to melt and uh, <clears throat> it would be wonderful that this lake be able to continue to fill up with no problems allowing us to really have a great reservoir of water <clears throat> since water has been uh, on, the sh on the outs uh, the past few years. So uh, we're just strengthening the land with this energy, allowing it to hold this extra weight. We're also fortifying this energy in case there are any kinds of earthquakes, allowing the dam to hold and, um, uh, and to keep the strength 
allowing the water to remain held uh, in that dam no matter what. Wonderful. Uh, thank you all for joining in and visualizing this with me and uh, for those joining in live and those in the archive. Again, time and space doesn't matter, so whenever you're joining in, you're adding your light <clears throat> to, this, uh, to this cause. <laughs> yes, wonderful. All right. <clears throat> um, I would like you to now uh, turn your uh, palms and put uh, one palm on your heart space and one palm on your stomach and allow this energy to also uh, penetrate and pulsate through in and throughout your entire physical body. This is a, veil a very healing energy from the universe, this golden light from the uh, universal life forces of love mixed in with the violet fire, the violet flame, allowing all to be uh, cleared and transmuted, all the lower vibrational energies transmuted into higher vibrational energies, uh, back into their wholeness, back into their fullness, allowing <clears throat> us all to be working on all of our cylinders, full cylinders, <laughs> however the saying goes. Yes. You may feel some, some, sen some sensations of warmth. You might feel some pulses or waves of light as this energy moves through you. Wonderful. All right, uh, we are now going to fly back to wherever we are physically located. We get there in a flash. And I would like you to begin to wiggle your fingers and toes and to become <clears throat> aware of your physical body, opening your eyes whenever you are ready. Thank you so much for uh, joining me in that meditation. Uh, the Lake Isabella Dam is pretty, uh, not too far from where I live. Um, I kind of live on a hill, so God forbid if that dam ever went, I don't think that we would be in harm's way. However, um, I think uh, the thought of a huge wall of water coming at uh, anybody, at any city, is uh, kind of a terrifying thought. Um, <laughs> especially since when that water's moving, um, you, yeah, it's just, yeah. It just reminds me of a Hollywood movie. Okay, so thank you for joining in and tuning in with me to bring strength to the land all around. <clears throat> the Lake Isabella Dam, really fortifying that area. Since there really is more and more water that is going to be filling up that area. And uh, again, we did a, a meditation for the Oroville Dam, for the healing of the Oroville Dam yesterday. If you'd like to tune in for that, um, it is available in the archives. Okay, wonderful. Uh, let's get into the card reading of the day, and then we're going to open it up the phone lines. I needed a... Excuse me, peeps. Oh. I'm having some issues this morning. <laughs> All right, so... Highest and best good, card of the day. Let's see what comes through, representing the energies that are moving and shaking for the collective. Highest and best good, highest and best good. Whoo-wee. Ah, we've had it before. Oh, I love this card, Nectar of Life. So, Nectar of Life is all about the good stuff. And it's about also not only the good stuff, but it's also being able to see with the eyes of love, to be able to see with the eyes of um, spirit, uh, to be able to see that all life experience, no matter how challenging certain things might seem or be as we are moving through them, that it really is um, all, all of it, all life experience, every part of this journey is all part of the nectar of life. Um, it's all part of the design. It's all part of what makes this a unique journey, this a, a unique soul journey, uh, a sojourn. <laughs> uh, we are spirits uh, ha having a physical experience. We are uh, gods and goddesses having this physical experience. And we have been separated from ourself, from our divinity, in many ways and that has led us to forget <laughs> and so uh, this time and this this what we're doing right now on planet earth is we're in a great remembering <clears throat> we were we are remembering that we are from god that we are uh direct descendants we don't need an intercessor we don't need any any other being between us to connect to this divine essence that is us 
and <clears throat> as well as there is really no separation like the, all these different realities all these different dimensions uh, the seen and unseen have been splintered off and split and there have been walls created and so none of that really exists those are just creations those are just uh, veils of illusion and so we are literally um, breaking down the veils of illusion and breaking down uh, the walls of separation so we really truly can see and feel and understand this life, this reality, and uh, what it's all about. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bump your nose. In a whole new and different way and really be able to see um, how it really is. Like, like th this, this life, what we're doing is, is really so special and so amazing. Um, we really are experiencing the nectar of life, the nectar of being alive, the nectar of um, having a, an experience in a physical body um, we are really taking it to the next level and uh, we are really experiencing all, it in all of its glory. So thank you for um, uh, going with me on that little card reading of the day. Again, this is Nectar of Life. Good morning, Natalie. Welcome to the show. We just finished up the card reading of the day. And now it is time for um, call-ins. If anybody has any questions or if anybody would like to call in for a mini energy reading, that number is 661-800-5875. Again, that number is 661-800-5875. And while I'm waiting to see if there's anybody that calls in, I'm going to look up the suicide prevention numbers because there um, are more people around me that I have heard are... Um, not only suicidal, um, but um, potentially it could have co completed suicide. And so um, I just know, again, like I said at the beginning of the show, this is an incredibly intense time. Um, it's, uh, and, and for some of us, when we really are um, facing our shadows, um, when we are really um, engaging that part of ourselves, it can be very scary, it can be very lonely, and... Um, and it can literally drive us to do things to hurt ourselves. Um, and so I want to provide um, the national um, suicide hotline number. Um, so that way, if anybody has um, has any issues going on or, um, or is having suicidal thoughts or idea uh, ideations, um, that it's important that you have somebody to talk to. Um, if you don't feel comfortable talking to... Um, any of your friends or family uh, and I totally get that you know it's sometimes we don't want to scare our friends and family sometimes we don't feel like we're getting the kind of help and support that we feel like we need from our friends and family and so sometimes it's great to be able to call outside um, <clears throat> outside to talk to someone that is um, not personally involved and that really <clears throat> why is this not coming up why is my Alright, peeps, sorry. I don't know why I'm having trouble pulling up the suicide hotline. Suicide hotline. Google, come on. <laughs> Did they t change this? Okay, here it is. Because I was like, what is going on? All these ads showed up at the top. Okay, so um, just so you know, there uh, is the phone number, which is 1 800 273 8255. Again, it's 24 hours. It's the suicide hotline. <clears throat> it's 1-800-273-8255. And I used to be a suicide hotline crisis counselor, so I know that they're staffed by volunteers and um, by people that truly care and give a shit. Uh, and so uh, please don't hesitate to call in. If you are feeling suicidal and you are feeling alone and you would like someone to talk to you, it's a fantastic uh, place to call. Uh, and you can also text them and you can reach all that information at their website. It's suicidepreventionlifeline.org. All one word, suicidepreventionlifeline.org. And I'll put that uh, link in the um, comments. And then um, if you are LGBTQ uh, and are suicidal, uh, there's the Trevor Project. And they are also a suicide hotline along with, a, uh, they have all kinds of different resources 
um, for, uh, like I said, the LGBTQ community. And uh, that phone number is 1-866-488-7386. Again, that's 1-866-488-7386. I know I've given this information out before, but again, like I said, I, um, uh, there, I have some friends who, uh, uh, anyways, suicide is around. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of people that are suicidal and they aren't telling anybody. It's an inside thing. People might be afraid to share it. And so I want to be a safe place. If you uh, would like to reach out to me, I'm more than happy to help out uh, in any way that I can. And as well, I wanted to give both of these two phone numbers uh, because I want to make sure that you know that there are different resources available uh, and there are different people that want to talk to you and want to listen and want to help. Yes. All right, so I don't believe, I don't believe there's any questions, Watts. I don't believe. Ooh, whoa. I didn't put the cat back on that other oil. <laughs> so we're going to close out <clears throat> with another oil as we leave the show. It's Bright Shining Star, and this one is Release and allow your energy. So we're going to release and allow our energy as we go throughout our day. Uh, um, this one is really kind of in conjunction with the other one as we cut through the layers of the onion and we let more and more of ourselves out to play, so to speak. Um, this one is all about us standing in our light, standing in our truth, allowing us to speak our truth, and allowing us to um, not only speak our truth, uh, but <clears throat> be in our own spotlight. We're the writer, we're the director, we're the actor, the prop guy, the, um, the producer, the designer of our own life. And so it's important for us to stand in that truth, stand in that light, and to actively uh, take ownership of our life in that way. And this oil is fantastic for that. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> Just makes you want to get up and go. <laughs> so we're going to get up and go out of here, Watts. Yeah. Ah, oh, So thank you for joining us. We really enjoyed it. We had a great time this morning. Thank you again for all those that joined in live, Aaron and Ariana. It was wonderful to have you this morning. And now it is time to sign off. We'll be back tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. And we hope to see you then. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Lots of love. Surrounding everybody with a big, giant hug of love. Until tomorrow, bye-bye.